One of our popular local theater is ready for an upgrade, bringing you the best possible picture for your movie viewing. But as Jordan Burgess is live to explain, there's that matter of the bill, Jordan. Ah, that's for sure. Well, in the TV business, we talk about tape, but we don't shoot on tape anymore. In the movie business, you hear about film, but soon theaters won't be showing film. But one theater needs your help to make sure its upgrade from film has a happy ending. Jonathan McNeil is an expert in rewinding. But like it or not, his theater is about to get a preview in what it's like to fast forward. This is going to be a whole new kind of virtual reality that we need to figure out. If you've ever visited the Neon Theater in Dayton, then you've heard it before. That unmistakable clacking that's as much a part of the movies there as a tub of popcorn. But soon it will become as silent as the films of old. We will miss that sound. You see, the source of that sound is this the 35 millimeter projector the neon uses to show films. But soon the main movie distributors will be no longer releasing things in 35 millimeter film. Instead, everything is going digital. What once came in heavy boxes will now come in hard drives. But digital projectors aren't cheap. Costing around $140,000. We have some money saved. We have some money that we can borrow without hurting too much. And then we've got a bit of a gap. That gap is expected to be about $25,000. Filling it will be as tricky as splicing together a section of old film. So the Neon is holding a benefit in October to help out. That way, the theater can continue showing the films you can't find anywhere else. We really do feel like we um, fulfill a certain uh, part of the community that would otherwise be absent. Yeah. I'm told that you won't notice a difference between 35 millimeter and digital, but some movie buffs, well, they say that they will, and it'll be a little sad to say hasta la vista to film. Hey, buddy, can you keep it down? Sorry. sorry. I think the whole staff is going to be sad to see it go. Jordan Burgess, 2 News. <laughs> we like oh, that I love ending. the neon. Oh, mm. that's good stuff. Hey,